Today we will learn introduction to coordinate system and linear graph. This shelf contains several boxes. Can you tell the location of this box? Think, think. Let me tell you, to determine the location of this box, we need the number of rows and number of columns. If we start with 0, from this corner, we can number the rows in this way. Similarly, we can number the columns in this way. Now, we can say that the desired box is in the second column and the third row. This understanding of determining the location in a plane helps us in many situations, such as to find the exact location of a seat in a theatre, to indicate the correct location of our house in a building, to indicate the correct location of a book in a library, etc. In all these situations, we unknowingly use the coordinate system. The method of expressing a position from a group of numbers is called the coordinate system. With the help of this method, we can determine the position of a point in a plane. For example, there is a graph paper showing the x-axis and the y-axis. They are perpendicular to each other. Their point of intersection is called origin. Assuming the origin point as 0, we represent numbers on the x-axis and the y-axis. If we take a point A on the graph, we can say that its position is represented by the number 2 of x-axis and number 3 of the y-axis. According to the coordinate system, we represent the location of point A, 2, 3 in this way. We say that 2, 3 is the coordinate of point A. It has 2, the x-coordinate of point A and 3, the y-coordinate of point A. Similarly, the position of point P on the graph can be expressed in the form of x-coordinates and y-coordinates x, y in this way. If we are given the coordinate of a point, then with the help of these, we can determine the position of the point in the plane. This process is called plotting of points. Here are some points and their coordinates. Can you plot them using the coordinate method? Try it by pausing the video. Let me tell you. We see that the x-coordinate of point A is 1, which tells us that we have to move one unit to the right from the original point. Since the y-coordinate is 2, we now have to move two units up. We will mark point A at place obtained. Similarly, will you be able to find the location of point B? Try it. Absolutely right. The location of B can be found from X coordinate 2 and Y coordinate 4. Similarly, we can show the location of point C and point D in this way. Let's connect all these points with line segments. You can see that line segments AB, BC and CD lie in the same line. Thus, if all the line segments in a graph are part of a single line or in same line, then, such a graph is called a linear graph. We will understand it better by some examples in the next video. Today we have learned introduction to coordinate system and linear graph. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to it. Today we will see some examples on the coordinate system and linear graph. Find the coordinates of the vertices of the shown figures. The graph shown shows two figures, quadrilateral LMNO and triangle PQR. Let us find the coordinates of vertices of quadrilateral LMNO. We see that the x-coordinate of the vertex L is 2 and y-coordinate is 4. 
Hence, the coordinates of the vertex L are 2 and 4. Similarly, we see that x coordinate of vertex M is 0 and y coordinate is 2. Hence, the coordinates of the vertex M are 0, 2. The x coordinate of vertex N is 2 and the y coordinate is 0. Hence, the coordinates of the vertex N are 2, 0. Similarly, the coordinates of vertex O are 4, 2. We can say that the vertices of quadrilateral L, M, N, O have coordinates 2, 4, 0, 2, 2, 0 and 4, 2. Now, find the coordinates of vertices of triangle PQR by yourself. Next example, Nimrat goes to school every day on bicycle. On a day, it took her 25 minutes to reach the school, details of which are given in the following table. Represent the given information in the form of a line graph with appropriate scale. Is this graph a linear graph? A line graph represents data that change continuously over time. Data is displayed by dots or points in the graph. All points are joined by line segments. If all the line segments are part of the same line, then we can say that it is a linear graph. Let us draw a graph based on the information shown. Draw two mutually perpendicular lines on the paper. The horizontal line x-axis and the vertical line y-axis. We will show time in minutes by taking 1 unit is equal to 5 minutes scale on x-axis. Similarly, we will show distance on the y-axis by taking 1 unit is equal to 0.5 km scale. We will now plot the points for different situations. A distance of 0.5 km has been covered in 5 minutes. We will mark point P on the coordinates 5, 0.5 which will represent this position on the graph. To show this on the graph, we move one unit to the right from the original point. Then, one unit will move upward. This will bring us to the point P. Similarly, coordinates of other points Q of 10, 1, R of 15, 1.5, S of 22, T of 25, 2.5 can be taken here. Pause the video and think about their position. Let me tell you, we can represent them in this way. Now we will connect all the points in the sequence according to the line segments. We have represented the distance travelled by time as a graph. All the line segments of the constructed graph are part of same line. So, we can say that the obtained graph is a linear graph. Today we have seen examples on the coordinate system and linear graph. In the next video, we will see some more examples. Today we will see some more examples on coordinate system and linear graph. Below is the map of Amina city. Suppose the x-axis represents the horizontal road and the y-axis represents the vertical road and Amina stands at the intersection. Read the map and answer the questions asked. How will Amina's location be represented in the coordinate system? Amina's location can be represented by x coordinate 0 and y coordinate 0. So, her location will be 0, 0. We can call it the origin. If Amina had to represent the position of post office in the coordinate system, how would she be able to do this? The location of post office can be represented by x coordinate 1 and y coordinate 2.5. Hence, the position of post office will be represented by 1, 2.5. Which places do coordinate 3, 5 and 2, 4 represent? Number of coordinates 3, 5 where 3 is x coordinate and number 5 is y coordinate. Can you now tell which positions the coordinates 
थ्री फाइव रिप्रेजेंट थिंक थिंक लेट मी टेल यू द एक्स कॉर्डिनेट थ्री टेल्स अस दैट वी हैव टू मूव थ्री यूनिट्स अलोंग द एक्स एक्सिस दैट इज थ्री किलोमीटर्स हियर सिमिलरली वाई कॉर्डिनेट फाइव टेल्स अस टू मूव फाइव किलोमीटर अलोंग द वाई एक्सिस इन दिस वे द कॉर्डिनेट्स थ्री फाइव हियर टेल्स अस द लोकेशन ऑफ अ रेशन शॉप Similarly, the number in coordinates two, four, two is x coordinate and number four is y coordinate. Coordinates two, four represent the railway station. How will the location of the vegetable market be represented as coordinates? The location of vegetable market can be represented by x coordinate one and y coordinate three point five. So, the location of vegetable market will be represented by one. Three point five. Next example. If the y coordinate is three times the x coordinate, make a table for it and draw a line graph. Is the line graph a linear graph? Let's represent y coordinates with variable y and x coordinates with variable x. We are told that the y coordinate is three times the x coordinate, so we can say that. Y is equal to three x. Let's make a table from this. If we take a value of x as zero, then the value of y will be three multiplied by zero is equal to zero. If we take the value of x as one, then the value of y will be three multiplied by one is equal to three. Similarly, if the value of x is two, then the value of y is three multiplied by two is equal to six. Similarly. We will find the value of y for different values of x. Now we will draw a graph using this table. Step one: We will draw the horizontal line x-axis and vertical line y-axis on the squared paper. Step two: We will show variable x on x-axis and variable y on y-axis. The scale for the x-axis will be one unit is equal to one. And the scale for the y-axis will be one unit is equal to three. The largest value of y is twelve, so we will take up to fifteen numbers on the y-axis. Step three. Now we will find the location of points according to the scale. When the value of variable x is zero, then the value of variable y is also zero. That is, in the first case, both. The x coordinate and the y coordinate are zero, so we will draw a point in place of the origin. When the value of variable x is one, then the value of variable y is three. So we will move one unit to right from the x-axis and then one unit upwards. We will now mark a point at this place. This point is the coordinate one three. Similarly. We will move two units to the right from the x-axis and two units upward. Now we will place a point that is coordinates two six at this place. After this, we will also mark the coordinates three nine and four twelve. Step four. Now we will connect all the points with line segments. Thus, we have shown various values of variable x as a graph. We see that all the line segments obtained are part of the same line, so we can say that this is a linear graph. Today we have seen some more examples on the coordinate system and the linear graph. Linear graph. Linear.